Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. I don't know who's here. Let me get my chat up. Let me see if I can get it up quicker than I did before. Oh, of course not. Wait a minute. Come on. Hang on a second. I'm going. Oh, fiddlesticks. Where are you? Okay, let me go to videos. Oh, why does this computer have to give me problems? I'll be there in a minute. Hang on. Well, it looks like it's streaming, so you know what I'm going to do? I am going to bring up my chat on my phone because I'm not going to fool with that computer anymore. So give me one second. And there it is. One watching. One Aha. Hi, Diane. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Cynthia. Well, hello, Leslie. Okay, hang on one second. I gotta turn my volume down. Oops, I guess I better put this on live chat, huh? Okay, hopefully I don't miss a question because it is a smaller screen than than my um other one. Um so anyway, okay, tonight. Oh, let me show you this first. Um, last week when I did the uh, Molotow uh, liquid chrome, I poured some of I poured some of my excess off into a mold. Isn't that neat? That is the one that's mixed with the resin. Then I put the red and the blue down here, and I even did this. I didn't sand it yet. Just playing around with my leftovers. What else can you do with it, right? Well, hello, Dixie. I can't remember your first name, Dixie. Well, hello, Tish. Sorry, I Tish. So, oh, I'm looking down there. Sorry. Um, sorry, I um um kind of crapped out on you last night. It was a long day. Okay, let me put my phone right here that way. Well, hello, Carrie. Let's see who else is here. Okay. Well, hello everybody that came in. Ah, gloves. I guess gloves would help, huh? Where are my black ones? Who stole my black gloves? Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, there. Nope. The struggle is real, people. I have a whole bunch of stuff just piled down in the corner down there. <laughs> okay. Hi, Clara. Okay. While I'm starting to get this resin mixed up, I mean, if there's any questions, please ask. If you're new here, please subscribe. Everybody, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And, um, but I, um, oh, excuse me. While I'm mixing resin, I am going to tell you I have some exciting news. I bought my ticket the other day to go to the Artisan Summit. The, well, hi, Ann. Um, I am going to the Artisan Summit in April 2020, and I'm going to be networking with all kinds of artists. I'm going to get to, I'm going to get to meet face to face the guys from Stone Coat Countertops. Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to get to meet a lot of the, um, ATD fan that's going to be there, but I am excited. I am very excited. I say Clara kind of talked me into it, but the only way she talked me into it was asking me to share a room with her because I could not, af I definitely could not afford to go if I had to um, have my own room by myself, which wouldn't have bothered me. I would have stayed by myself, but I couldn't afford it. Ah, uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to do eight ounces. And I'm using the famous Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. 
Well, hello, Diane. How are you? I'm trying to make sure I say hi to everybody. And I swear, the lag, I, I'm, I'm reading the chat off my phone and the lag on there is bad. So I got to quit looking at, the, uh, at it. Okay. So if anybody's watching that's new, watching it live or watching the replay, this is a one-to-one -one ratio resin. So I mix four ounces of the hardener. And the reason I put the hardener in first is because it's got a lower viscosity. So that way, when I put the thicker stuff in it, the thicker stuff don't stick to the sides of the cup or the bottom of the cup or whatever else it might stick to. It's kind of like the, the hardener is kind of like um, being a, a, a lubricant to make sure the resin doesn't stick to every everything inside the cup. Oh, stop, 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 stop. There you go. Okay. Tonight, I am using, did I miss any questions? Nope. Tonight, I am going to be doing take two on my John Deere green as my background. This time, I'm going to add a little bit more to it than I did last time, uh, which was, I think, a couple weeks ago. When I did my live and I gave away uh, uh, the painting to somebody near, at the end of it. Um, and, um, oh, let me look at the clock. That one had a dark red background and I didn't add enough paint to the uh, to it. So, um, hi, Tish. Tish number one and Tish number two is here. Well, hello. Oh, Sally, I am so sorry I forgot to text you. Hi, Kate. Good to see you here. Don't shoot me, Sally. Well, oh, Amber, there's my buddy. How you doing tonight, Amber? Oh, did I text you? I can't remember. I, I, I swear, I've been running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Sorry that I have not been posting videos I just got those 400 clips out in the mail yesterday. And I've had some breathing room and I've been trying to get stuff done around here. Um, oh, for those of you that are new, when you're stirring it, you stir. I usually stir for three minutes or four minutes and you wanna make sure you scrape your sides, scrape your bottom and scrape your stick off. So that way you make sure you get everything incorporated in there. Okay, I see everybody's still getting through their hellos, so I will not interrupt that. I'm just going to mix my resin here. Y'all just chit-chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I mean, you know, I got to mix my resin. Um, Tish number two, my, my neighbor Tish in Minnesota. I need to get with you on um, video chat on Messenger so you can teach me how to do the time stamps. Unless you learned it from somebody else on YouTube, and then you can just send me the link to that person's video. Uh, well, hello, Lisa. Good to see you here. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know where to start. So, oh yeah, stone coat art coat. My base, my base tint is going to be my good old Rust-Oleum. John Deere green. Then my colors are going to be, wait a minute, I don't need that one, are going to be uh, the one you can't read the label on is my Just Resin Titanium White. Lemon Yellow, which is a pretty bright yellow. And then I'm going to accent it with my new Liquid Metallic Permanent Gold from um, MTN, which uh, Dick Blick, very nice, um, Hey, that's good. I love it. I'm glad to see everybody here, Kate. I am so glad to see everybody here. Okay. Okay, let's start pouring. Oh, in case anybody's wondering, I still haven't um, perfected these sticks yet, but the way I see, I don't know if you can see that it's 
that it's lumpy on there you go you can see that it's a little lumpy i gotta figure out how to put that stuff on the sticks smoothly and then i'll show you all a video of how i do it but i'll also sell them too if you all want want to buy some okay i'm not sure how much i'm going to need of my base coat but let's do that I got my yellow. Well, I want a little bit more yellow than that. Uh, only person who knows exactly what colors I'm using tonight is Diane. These are kind of, I'm trying to make it look like a Packer colors for the Green Bay Packers. Oh, thank you, Dixie. Well, hi, Joni. Good to see you here. Anyway, so I thought, um, since I had to use the green, I would try to do Packer colors. I don't need that one. So we're going to see how that turns out. Now the John Deere green is going to be in the, in the bottom. So, oh, you know what? Well, too late now. Um, I see Carrie here. Um, Carrie, ask Scarlett real quick if I can mix this liquid gold into the resin or if I can just put it on top because I can't remember okay oops I don't know why I'm shaking it you're not supposed to shake these cans I found out so I'm going to get my big stick out just to get the paint just to stir it and get the paint out if I can get the lid off so, it's good to see everybody here. I love this. Hopefully, this John Deere green is going to look darker. Well, I got the pen. This is um, an eggshell acrylic paint that they mixed up for me at my local hardware store yesterday. When he said, what color do you want? I handed him a spray can of John Deere green and said, match this cap. <laughs> hey, you know. It, it's what I wanted. Okay. That looks like enough. I'm not going to mix. Well, I guess I could. I can use that to mix my resin. Let's see. Anybody come in? Oh, okay. Thanks, Carrie. Well, I might try it both. I might try it both ways. Sorry about that, y'all. But I want to make sure it doesn't spill because it's going to be sitting on... Well, shoot. That's going to fall right there. So I'm just going to put that back over there. Put that back over there. Put that back over there. And mix my color in. Oh, okay, Joni. Turn your volume down. Sorry about that, y'all. I didn't mean for it to be. Okay, thanks, Carrie. Thanks, Carrie. Um, I didn't mean for it to be loud, but... See, I, I, I'm still learning these new cameras. Far, as far as I know, the audio's over there. From that one, because I didn't want to have it right above me. Oh, she needs to reopen. Ha ha. <laughs> funny, funny, Kate. I know, Joni. I know, but I'm also apologizing to anybody who I did hurt their ears and they just don't want to say anything. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to get cells with this. Uh, let me mix my other resins first. This is my titanium white paste by Just Resin. I'm almost out in this jar, so I ordered three the other day which came very very quickly so thank you ATD um, I didn't put the supplies yet below um, but um, most of these are most of this is from um, ATD or your local hardware store okay there we go 
Okay, and now here is the lemon yellow. Oh, got to stir it. Got to stir it. It's separated. That's what you have to do to your paste when you when you first buy up. Oh, it really separated. When you uh, first open them, if they haven't been used for a while, mix them. Because you want to get all that stuff mixed back together. I'm trying to think. Yes, John Deere Green is cool. And it also happens to be pretty close. Oh, I got lumps in here. I should have gave this a warm bath. If you get on, if it gets lumpy and it does take too much mixing, you put the lid on really tight and you put it in a little dish with warm water only up to the bottom of the lid. And you let it sit there for about 5-10 minutes in the warm water. Take it out. Dry it off really, really good because you don't want to get any resin in your um, in your um, um, paste. Okay, I haven't opened this yet, but I do know I have to shake it. I do know that... She told me to shake it. Now, I'm going to put some in a little bit of resin, but I'm also going to do a little bit of drizzling right out of here. Well, hello, Jason. How are you? Thank you for joining us tonight. Everybody, Jason is um, Tish number two's um, boyfriend. Is that what you call, is that what, is that what he is? Oh, look at that. Look at that gold. I don't want to put a lot in there. Okay, that, sh that should be enough. Okay, let me mix that one up and see. Oh, I got to mix all of them up. Ugh. I am I'm so busy reading the chat. Um, You can't switch from pro public to private in these chats, I don't think. Oh, sorry, Jason. Um... Well, hi, Tracy. How are you? Um, if somebody could explain to Carla, I don't think you can switch from public to private conversation. I'm not too sure. I mean, I moderate in a few other channels, but I don't know about that. Oh, fiance. Okay, Tish. I mean, I've been with, I've been with mine now for 14 years. It'll be 15 years this Thanksgiving. Oh, hello, Erica. Hello, Erica. Thank you very much. I'm hoping that this turns out to look like Packer colors and that the background is darker than it was a couple weeks ago on my live. I need to get some, but I, you know what I'm going to do, Ann? I'm going to Texas next month. So... <laughs> I probably will get to meet the great Miss Judy, and I probably will look at them and buy some right there, because I can bring them home in my car. Anyway, and um, Eric, I don't know if I told you or not, I'm go I did get my ticket for the summit, so I'm going to meet the great, great Mr. Mitch and the great Mr. Mike and, his w and the wives and all that. Okay, I'm going to stand up so you're not going to see me anymore. Sorry about that. Okay, first I'm, first I'm going to put my base coat down. Now this is, this is an, I think it's oil-based. This is what's mixed in there for anybody who just came in. And I'll tell you something, this sells up really, really well. So, and I, you also have to um, put down a coat of some sort of resin, even if it's only clear. Because as Erica mom, as Erica's mom says, you got to grease the pan. Because resin only goes where resin is at. So, uh, let me heat this up just a little bit. Am I missing anybody? Whoo, 25 people in here. Thank you all. 
my DFD squad is awesome. All my regulars and all my new ones. Okay. Um, oh, alcohol rag. Cause I only, I only, I don't have to switch out my gloves like some people do. You put some alcohol on a piece. This is just a piece of, of a cut up t-shirt. And you use it to clean your gloves off after you spread your resin out. And I can also do this while I'm reading the chat. So, anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, congratulations, Dixie. I don't know what for, but congratulations. I missed that. But that's okay. I'll, 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 I usually... When my live's over and uh, YouTube lets my uh, chat in about oh, an hour or so after YouTube processes my video, um, I, can re I can sit out in the car, have some quiet time with a cigarette. Oh, well, I prefer to use my gloves because that way I can not only see like right there I can not only see where I got a dry spot I can feel it and I'm a touchy feely kind of person okay I see bubbles so let me get rid of bubbles Erica, you and Jeff have one of the best relationships I've ever seen, I swear. I have been with my boyfriend now for 15 years this Thanksgiving, and we've never lived under the same roof. Well, hello, Carrie. I mean, Car Scarlett. Oh, I'll get that right eventually. Okay. Now, I'm going to do... A couple of paper swipes, but I may end up turning to Torch and Tilt. And then, you never know, I might throw in a couple of Erica Dip swipes. Because Erica invented that. You want to start your start your pour just off the edge. Now, this, this white is the titanium white. It's not um, the stone coat uh, countertops. Uh, base tint white. My base tint is my John Deere green. Those guys must think I'm weird at the paint store. All these, um, all these uh, quarts of paint I'm buying in different colors. I'm trying to get my foot in the door at, at our local. Um, I don't think we got it. I don't think they're down south in Texas um, or really anywhere else. But. Um, I'm trying to get my foot in the door at our Menards where I buy 95% of my colors and see if I can do some demonstrations um, at some of the stores. Okay. Well, let me get my paper. Here's my handy dandy little paper. And I'm going to heat up the resin. And I'm going to heat up the resin around it, too. So it will go with the paper. Okay. I'm not going to do wide swipes. I'm going to do little ones. Okay. What you, now, I like to use the waxy side of this freezer paper. Okay. You can use wax paper, too. I like to stick maybe about a pencil width or less of the of the edge into the resin that I want to go over the base coat. And you want to drag that resin over the base coat slowly and try to I try to turn to do little curly cues but now I know that might be hard to see, but I do have I do have some of the color over there. Mm, okay, let's see how we're gonna do this. And I'm not I, I can't read the chat now. I am in my swipe zone.
I learned how to swipe from the best. I learned how to swipe from the best, and that is Erica and Scarlet. Erica is the uh, is the swipe queen, and Scarlet is the swipe princess. Somebody told me I'm the swipe duchess, but I don't know. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Okay. See, I didn't drag as much color as I wanted to. I may have to put some more on there. I'm going to add I'm going to add a little bit more white to this. I seem to be losing my white. Okay. Because I think, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Thanks, Scarlett. I wasn't sure because I really don't know any duchesses. <laughs> but if anybody wants to learn the, right, the very easy way to swipe, watch Scarlett on Display of Color and watch Erica on Artist Till Death because they're both very, very good at this. Okay, I'm going to switch to the other side. Okay, one thing you want to do, and I didn't, I didn't do it. You want to make sure that when you put it down, your corners are not curled down. Because you want this whole edge to make contact before you start pulling. And that corner is being stubborn. There we go. Well, now it's too high. Okay, let's try this now. Well, I'm not getting complete contact, but I'll try it. See, I probably should have put some more white over here. Oh, well. Live and learn, right? Okay, let me see. Oh, yes. Our little ATD fam, which I may have the DFD squad, but I think that I'm still par a part of the ATD fam. We've got some very, very talented artists in there, and I learn from all of them. Hmm. I don't know if... Er Eric, are you still here? I was just wondering if anybody else was watching with you, like Marcy or Jeff or Bronson, maybe. I don't know when y'all... Okay, let me get a fresh piece of paper. That one's curled too much. Anyway. Okay, there's the waxy side. Okay, I don't know, Diane, your opinion, is this, oh, bye, Jason, thanks for joining us. Um, Diane, I don't know, what do you think, is this turning out to look like Packers colors? I got more gold than anything right there. Okay. Let me turn it a little bit so I don't have to put my arm all the way over. I'm looking to see. Oh! Hello, Angelique. I love having Angelique here. She's my buddy across the... I guess you could say, is that across the pond or across the big ocean? I don't know. I guess there's a couple of oceans you got to cross to get to yours, huh? Okay. I am going to try a little bit of this now. Oh, thank you very much, Angelique. I need more yellow. Okay. 
Before I add the gold then, let me add some more yellow. You know what? I can add more yellow by doing an Erica dip swipe. And a dip swipe, everybody, is where you take your paper, okay, and you take your, uh, let me mix that up just a little bit, and you take your stick, and you put some of that on the end of your paper. I think everybody, am I still on camera? Yeah, okay. And you put some of the resin on the end of your paper. Then, you put that down. And now I'm basically swiping that yellow over the green. Another way you can do a, a swipe like that, instead of putting it on the paper, I've seen Scarlet do this. You can put some down in a little spot. And then you can swipe. You can swipe that out, although I didn't catch it all. Come on. I'm trying to do Packers colors, but I got a sneaking feeling that this Packers color piece knows I'm not a Packers fan. <laughs> I won't tell you. Well, I think half the people here know. Okay. Hi, hi, hi to anybody that's came in that I missed. Oh, another thing that I've seen Scarlet do is you take your paper. That might be too much. And you dip it right in the resin. And then you do your swipe with it. The one thing I'm still trying to practice on is doing the little swoosh at the end where you make it real skinny. Okay. I want to put some more yellow right here and bring, bring it up this way. You know what I think I'll do? Ha ha. I, where's my torch? Torch, torch. <laughs> I had it out. I filled it. Oh, this is ridiculous. It's not behind the can. Okay, who stole my torch? Did it fall? No. Okay, I guess I'll just have to use the other torch. I've got my backup over here, but it doesn't have a cover over the switch. I'm going to do a torch and tilt with that puddle. So what you want to do is, is you want to heat up the resin a little bit around it, okay? You want to tilt it at a 45 degree angle, and you want to give it some little shots of heat right there where the resin's at and it'll start running now I'm gonna let it run back a little bit and run that way again I don't have a lot of room there are some cells I don't want to make this too busy and that is another invention of Erica's. What did I do with that torch? This is like bugging the crap out of me now. It's not behind my phone. Okay. Watch. As soon as I get off the live, I'll find the other torch. Okay. Um, I was going to do this. I'm going to take a stick... Shake up the can really, really good. Oh, my daughter just texted me. 
Um, if uh, Stephanie, if Marley's here, can somebody say, can can somebody type hi? My daughter, my uh, I told her to. Oh, there's my torch. It was on top of a can over there. Um, I don't know if my um, if my daughter's watching or not, but my it could be if she is, it could be my nine-year-old granddaughter watching under her name. So no um, jokes about S P E R M's, although that makes Clara's husband laugh. And no, and I'm not gonna make, say anything that could be considered a. That's what he said or she said. Although I don't think my granddaughter would understand that. Doesn't run off this stick very well. So let me just do this. And yes, doesn't that look like a long snake? How's that? When I get the resin on the end, I'm wiping it off a little bit. Oh, that's coming out a lot darker than what I had in the in the um, um, mixed in. Oh, I love that. Okay. So, I don't see the name Steph yet, so... I don't think my granddaughter's here. Now I'm cleaning the resin off of the end of the stick before I put it back in here because I don't want to cross contaminate. Because I'm not going to pull out a fresh stick every time. Thank you! Thank you so much, Carrie. My, aren't my mods awesome? I got some of the best mods around. Okay. Let me put the lid back on this before I fire up the uh, torch again. Now, I'm going to try to torch it this way so I'm going to put my hand under here the back of all my boards are always taped oh careful careful so this has got alcohol in it so if you see a little flame start up, that's just the alcohol burning off. Oh. This torch is not easy one-handed for me. Okay, you know what? Might have some drips for you out of this, Sally. I don't know yet. I'm going to put this guy over here just to sit for a little bit to see if it's going to need anything else because I do have... don't know where my rag's at. I do have some coasters. And I'm dropping them. Sorry about that loud noise, Joni. Okay. Okay, I have no more. <laughs> I have no more of the green. And I don't... Well, I can put some clear down. I'm not going to put any green in it. I am going to move this up here. Thank you very much, Cynthia. 
I can tell you one thing. I'm going to sell this or give it away. It's not going on my wall. Sorry to all you Packer fans out there, but it's the wrong colors for my wall. Now, I did a purple one a while back. That's my team colors. Okay. All I did was put some clear down just to kind of grease the pan, as Erica's mom likes to say. And I like that saying, too. Need to put some resin down so resin will go, will flow over it. Oh, thank you very much, Dixie. I'm st I didn't catch you. Is your first name Judy? I can't remember now. I heard Christine say it the other day. Okay. I'm doing... Oh. Oh. That's a message from one side of the house to the other because... <laughs> They live in the same house, I'm sure, but I'm sure everybody that's here knows that. Uh, Carrie and um, I was looking at that I could he help with your cleanup, and then I remembered, yeah. <laughs> I like that, Clara. No flirting in the chat. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do some torch and tilts, but I do remember Erica saying it's got to be a small line because you don't want it to get too big. Whoops! And you don't want to drip where you don't want the, where you don't want the color at at all. I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Tell them, Angelique. Wait a minute, they got a room. They live together. I'm going to do the torch and tilt with this. I'm going to end up with some, with some left over, but I got molds to put it in. I guess I could make a shot glass for my boyfriend out of this. That's what I like. Oh, man, that became a wide white one. That's what I like about the uh, Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. Long, long working time. Okay, I'm not putting any gold in yet. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I don't need that one anymore. Where's? I need the one that's got the cover. Okay, um... I want to make sure, okay, I'm trying not to drip on that. Wait a minute. I don't want to drip on that, but I want to keep it in the camera. So, you know what? Uh, no, I don't have any pedestal set up over there either. Oh, the struggle's real. The struggle is real. I just don't have the room in this house. I do all my arting right here on this little table. I can't have a separate spot for acrylics. Or a separate spot for resin, packing. Well, I kind of got a special spot for packing and shipping. My kitchen, because that's where my scale's plugged in at. Yeah, okay, oops. Sorry about that. I was trying to keep it on the camera. Oh, sorry. I keep... Mm. Okay, let me put a little bit of this gold on there. Wait a minute. Need to mix it up just a hair. Looks like it's needs it 
when you mix this gold I've noticed into the uh, into the resin it's a little bit darker okay let's see what this does When you're doing this torch and tilt with a small piece like these coasters, careful where your hand is at, because you know your hand is sticking out a little bit. Because when it's dripping off, it might um, drip onto your finger. And no, I'm not speaking from experience, but I think it's a little hot. Okay, I'm going to put some of the gold on before I even start torching and tilting on this one. Just to see if that works a little bit better. Okay. Also got to be careful when you're using your torch. If your hand is like right next to it and you want a torch right there, be careful because your flame could come off of the off of the edge of the tile and hit your glove. And these gloves are not um, flame proof. They will catch on fire. So safety first. Be mindful of where your hand's at underneath the tile and where the resin might drip. Ooh, look at that lacing I got right there. I am loving that, okay. Let me put you right there. So I think I'm going to do, I want to put a little bit more white this time. I didn't put quite as much white on it as I should have. Now I'm going to do a little bit of the gold next to it. I am constantly, okay, there it is. I'm constantly keeping an eye on where I'm at with the camera. See, I'm trying to torch that one spot right there in the corner but my hand was right there too. There we go. See, when you're hitting it with the torch, it's really, really liquidy. And I'll go back and forth with, forth with it sometimes. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to let that one live. Thank you very much, Scarlet. I am so glad that Erica took the chance and started torching her pieces like that and came up with this method because this is like the best way to get cells. And none of these uh, colors that I'm using on the tile have the um have anything in it to make it sell unlike the john deere green which is kind of like i guess you could say it's an enamel paint so it's probably got something oil based in it but these these colors that i'm using right here well the gold does have alcohol in it, but I'm sure the alcohol is gone by now. That one is done. Okay. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I add any more to this, or should I 
say it's that the big one's done. Oh yeah, they're ceramic tiles. Um, I painted the front black only because I was going to do something else on them. And um, to these, I don't have any. Well, I guess I could make up a little green. Where is, there it is. I do have a little bit of resin left. I guess I could add some green to it. I don't know what this green's going to do on top. It's supposed to be a base color. Okay. Uh, shoot. Well, I'm going to add just a little bit. It's not very dark because I, I don't want to open the can. So I'm going to add just a little bit green. You can hardly see it. And I'm going to torch that out. Okay, yeah, can't really see the green all that well. That's what I just did, Tish, or Tish number two. I don't know if Tish number one is still here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, see, this green isn't as dark as the uh, other green is. Or as opaque, I should say. Well, it gave it a little bit more interest. I can tell you one thing. I know this one needs just a little bit more white in there. Because it's looking a little too gold. Gold took over on me. Okay, yeah, um, Carla. Um, yeah, they could, Carla. They could be hot plates. They could. I, I, I was doing that, but see, I haven't done any shows, so I don't know where I would sell them at. But I had some six by six tiles. You can make six by six tiles into hot plates. You can also get those little um, um, easels. Or little stands for, that are meant for plates. They stand up in, in the middle of that fine. Let me do this one back here first. In case it drips on its way back. gave it a little bit more interest it's not as dark as the other one and has anybody told me that I should add any more to this guy over here and oh, I don't know if I dripped right there or if that's what that is see you got to be careful when you're doing the torch and tilt on on all these pieces you got to make sure nothing's underneath you when it drips because you could drip on the piece that's there It didn't add a whole lot to it, but it added some. Okay. What is the consensus about this piece? Should I add any more? I'm thinking. I don't know if I could do it or not. But I'm thinking. Let me turn it around. Maybe do some yellow right here and swipe it down. Well, Tish number two says leave it alone. Uh, let's see. Lisa says leave it alone. Kate says leave it alone. Angelique says walk away. Sally loves my drips. Sally loves my drips, y'all, because Sally knows she's going to get those when they dry. I've got two other uh, sheets of drips. Okay, this one I'll leave. 
I am going to move it out of the way because I do have some resin left. I don't have any more tiles, really, but hang on a second, everybody. I am checking this for, I want to give it a quick shot for any air bubbles. I love how that gold floats over the top. Okay, and you know what? It looks brighter green in person. So, well, it doesn't help when you leave your dining room lights on that are yellow. I just noticed that. So, sorry about the yellow glare from those guys. Okay, I do have, where'd they go? I have... These are canvas panels. You know the little panels that you buy when you do, when you don't when you're practicing your painting and you don't want to and you don't want to do the um, use a big canvas. I just spray painted it black, and resin works great on this. I have resin on many of these pa canvas panel boards. So let's see what kind of a uh, design I can get on this. Uh, get over here. Get oh, there. We go. I'm talking to my little pyramids. Mm, I guess I'm gonna let those guys live too. Okay. Um, you know what I want to try? I haven't seen Erica do this yet. I'm gonna try something. I'm going to do a puddle pour in the middle, and then I'm going to do a torch and tilt from the center out to see how it works. So I'm going to put the white down first. This is an experiment. I have no idea what it's going to look like. I am just going to do a puddle pour. I'm going to do the white. Because I've always seen the torch and tilt done on the on the lines, you know, when you draw the lines with it. No, they don't work with the resin, um, Carla. They don't. Okay, I'm going to do a little spot of yellow in the middle. I don't want to do too much. They will warp with acrylics because that's wet. Um, the panels... Do not warp with the resin. As a matter of fact, I, I've got to do a how did they dry video because, uh, um, yes, thank you, Lisa. Um, um, so I will include, um, oh, excuse me, these guys. Okay. I see a little dry spot right there. Okay. This one I can hold underneath. Looks like a fried egg. <laughs> anybody needs bacon? Thanks, Clara. I was just going to say, anybody got any bacon? Okay, let's see what a torch and tilt does off of a puddle. Ooh, look at that. That is pretty. Okay, let me turn it a little bit to do it towards that corner. I love those cells. So maybe I invented something, torch and tilt puddles. I'm trying not to get this part running over, over here because I want to torch and tilt that resin over there. Looks like a bunny, bunny's ears kind or a cat. 
cat face. No, Sally, I'm not keeping it like this. Cat, Sally's a cat lover. Yeah, it's smoking a little bit. But it's not enough to set off the smoke alarm, I hope. Oh, look at that lacing right there. Okay. Oh, I like this wispiness right here, too. Okay, uh... I want a little bit more gold, so... Let me do a little bit of gold in a line. And I'm going to torch and tilt that line out now. Although, I'm going to try to torch it towards the middle. Okay, got to turn it around. I can only... I, I'm not a Gumby. I can't bend my wrist as far as I was just trying to. Ooh, the board does get a little warm on the bottom. So... Safety first, y'all. Be careful. Okay. I'm not happy that I didn't get any gold in the middle. So, <sighs> sacrifice another stick and put some of the gold in there, right? Uh-oh. Now it's pancakes with lots of butter. <laughs> Well, I'm about to bling up that butter. Oh, I got to be careful when you open this, too, because you get it all over your fingers. Come on, drip. Rip, come on. Okay, it's not going to drip, so let me just drag it. Wipe the resin off. There we go. Okay, now let me do some torching. I just sacrificed another stick for, for the experiment. Oh, are you still doing that, Scarlet? You poor thing. I won't do a liquid cleanse. I just, I lost weight by starting smoking again after quitting for 13 years. Whew! There's still alcohol in it. That was the alcohol. That wasn't the resin. That was the alcohol catching on fire. Which I'm sure Scarlet knows about that too, because Scarlet, have you done a torch and tilt with this um, the uh, Montana liquid gold? Okay. I'm going to do one of Jeff's super tilts. Now I'm going to do the super tilt back. I don't know. What do you think? Should I try to spread that gold out a little bit? <coughs>
Oh, great. I'm going to get the girls in the resin. So I got to stand up to do this blowing. Okay, so, oh, good night, Clara. Thank you very much. I cannot wait for April, Rumi. By the way, everybody, that's going to, Clara's my roommate when I go to uh, the Artisan Summit. I forgot to tell her I talk in my sleep. Shh, shh, don't tell her that. Oh, sorry that my head's in the way. I am so sorry about that. I didn't realize it. Okay. I'm going to quit with this one. How does everybody like it? What do y'all think of the Montana Gold with the torch and tilt? Okay, my chat must be really lagging. So, I'm going to call it done. What do you all think? You all think it's um, um, done or, you know, a um, couple people left and didn't say bye. Because it went from 23 to 16 real quick. So... You think it's done, Angelique? That looks like a kind of a funky flower in the middle right there. Oh, okay. Good night, Anne. Thanks for joining us. And let me give you all a little close-up of these. It looks more brown. The yellow does. Maybe it's because of the black underneath it. I don't know. Thank you, Lisa. I'm glad somebody's still here. I know my mods are... St There's 17 people in the uh, watching. Okay. Now, see, that's yellow over the black, and it looks so brown right there. Almost copper. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you very, thank you, Scarlett. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, welcome back, Clara. What happened? I thought you were leaving. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Um, good night, Scarlett. Um, I thought Clara was leaving. Okay, well, welcome back, Clara. But I'm almost done. It's yellow. I've got to do a true color video. It is yellow. It's not brown. So, I hope you, you all enjoyed. Oh, did, oh, did they? Um, Clara, were they in um, d uh, Texas or are they still in Vegas? I was just wondering about that. Anyway... Anyway, so I want to thank y'all for watching. Um, y'all have an awesome evening. Thanks for watching me experiment with my stuff. And I love the resin right out of you guys. Every one of my subscribers is part of my squad. Thank you very much, Dixie. Oh, in front of the Bellagio fountain. Okay. Oh, hi, Laura. I didn't even know you were here. And good night, Laura. Um, so, I want to thank you all for watching. I'll save these little drips for you, Sally. Ah, uh, I love you all, too. You're very welcome. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful evening. Don't forget to hit that little thumbs up on the way out. And I will hopefully have some pre-recorded videos this week. As soon as I figure out that program. So, all I can say for now is, bye for now.
and I love you guys.